Oi boys, welcome, welcome to another video on the channel. We are back with another Rugby League World Cup review. This time we'll fresh off the Samoa versus Greece game. And I'll be honest, this game was tricky because you knew a cricket score was coming. So in terms of improvements from last week's shocker, I guess it's a little tough to gauge. I do wonder what would leave a Tor Samoa supporter, I guess, satisfied or what would be a redeemable performance? Because at half time, Samoa, they're up by 42 points to zero. I will say this, regardless of how weak the competition is, getting reps like this is uh, truly valuable for building chemistry I guess, especially within your key players like your spine. I guess they learn player tendencies and ultimately it gets, it gets everyone on the same wavelength. It also gives an opportunity for the young guns like Suali'i, Fe'angai to showcase their talents, even for Greece, like Rabideau's young gun Lachlan Ilias. For him, he's getting valuable reps for the 2023 NRL season. And for me, he's really showing his class in these opening World Cup matches, especially against uh, Samoa. He even scored a try, but it was his kicking game. His kick selection was pretty on point, and it was impressive, especially because it was against stiff competition. So yeah, Samoa, they look solid as they should be. The forwards are on 100 all night, and the backs, they work their magic on the back of that. I thought Jerome Luai had a pretty good game. I mean, everyone had a good game for Samoa, let's be honest. But you really get to see uh, players like Luai and Harris Tavita showcase their talents when your forward pack is dominating. Luai's short kicking game was pretty hectic. I'm hoping we see more performances like that when they come up against tougher opposition. I'm really interested to see how they go against the French who at times troubled England in the earlier matches. When you think about it, it's truly a shame that their opening match was against a team like England. You know, fresh off the plane, no warm-up match. Would have been nice to see them, I guess, ease into a match of that caliber. But yeah, all in all, a near flawless performance from Tor Sabo. And to be honest, there was another pretty hearty performance from one of the minnows. You know, we saw it with the Lebanese against New Zealand. We saw it with Jamaica against, again, New Zealand and Greece. It's good to see these teams that, let's be real, don't stand the chance. It's dope to see them have a proper crack. But yeah, Samoa get it done. The road to redemption is off to a great start as they drop 72 on the Greece. A nice little bounce back. I am curious to know though, what are your thoughts on Samoa's performance in week two? For me, like I said, it was a nice little bounce back. The road to redemption, this is just the beginning. They've got a huge game coming up next. Have your say in the comment section down below. I'll be back with a review of Tonga and PNG's week two performances. But until then, if you enjoyed that and would like to see more rugby league related content or more content in general, consider subbing to the channel and don't forget to run a shoot at the like button. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you. you, you. <laughs> Then it's quite concerning. Brothers, I'll put a block through his business.